got a question for you guys today and uh, it is something it, running thoughts right running epiphanies but my question for you today is how good are you at calming yourself down and pushing yourself through a transition okay so um, this is a lesson I learned in running and I learned it with nutrition I've learned it from cold showers um, I've learned it from fasting and I believe that the one time in your life that you don't really want a lot of balance is when you're going through a transition because this is what I mean. Our tendency is when we go through something hard that when we go to that transition where it lets off for a second, we want to let it all off and we want to balance that out with like, oh my gosh, that's more than I can handle. I'm going back to my old ways and I'm going to balance that out. So let me, hear me out. What's up, Kimmers? Um, so when I was training for the Boston Marathon, I was going really hard, training, training to qualify for it, right? So I was pushing myself hard. And I was doing a lot of speed work in my midweek runs and a lot of hill work. Today I just did my, my speed work and so this, this came back to me while I was running. Now the hardest part about doing speed work in a run is, you know, I'm hitting a 10.0 on the treadmill, so that's what, like a six minute, six minute mile pace, right? And I'm doing that for a quarter mile. That's hard, right? It's hard to run at a six minute mile pace for a quarter mile for me. And so then when I slow back down to my seven something pace, 740, that's what I was doing on my uh, easier intervals. I wanna stop, man. I wanna stop and walk. I'm like, holy crap, that's so hard. Oh. But I don't. I push through that transition. I calm myself down and I'm like, you got this. And my rule is I can't stop to get a drink or anything until I push through that transition for a quarter mile just to show myself that I can talk myself through that, I can calm myself down through that, I can continue to push forward even after I just did something really hard. And I think that's so crucial and so key for our growth to not just be like, oh my gosh, I was so hard and give up and just like stop completely to balance out the difficulty, be like, uh-uh, I still got this. So let me give another example, cold showers, right? So for me, the way I do it is I do take a regular shower first and at the end of that shower, hey guys, thanks for saying hi. Um, at the end of that shower, I like Tony Robbins says, just do it. Don't think about it. Don't try to get your nerve up. Don't, it's like, don't think, just do, turn that sucker to ice cold. And the, the challenge is, how quickly can you calm yourself down through that transition of you're in your nice warm shower and boom, it's, it hurts almost. It's icy, cold water. And because I like to go beast mode, I'm like, where is it going to be the most uncomfortable? On my scalp where I have all the nerve endings, in my armpits, on the back of my neck, on my chest, um, like the sensitive areas. I'm like, bring it. And I admit when I first started doing cold showers, that transition, I freaked out a little bit, right? I was like, whoa, whoa. you know, my kids are like, mom, are you taking a cold shower? <laughs> yes. <laughs> how did you know? Now they don't know anymore. They don't know anymore because I've learned how to calm myself down through that transition. So as it goes icy cold, I feel it. It freaking hurts. It's intense. But I just, just breathe through that. And my rule is I don't get out of the cold shower until I've gotten to the point that I don't want to run anymore, that I don't want it to end, that I'm like, I could stay here all day. Okay. So what that has done literally has enhanced my ability to respond to stress in a healthy way. So in a, instead of freaking out and going into fight or flight mode, I am learning how to control my autonomic nervous system. Your autonomic nervous system is the one that takes you between fight and flight mode and rest and digest mode, right? Um, sympathetic, is, you guys hear this all the time, talk about it in yoga, like lots of people talk about it. So the sympathetic is our fight or flight mode, right? And I feel that come, but I'm choosing to control my response to that, right? And so as we do things in our life, to help us physically, like you guys know, I believe that the body is an access point to our evolution. That's how I had my like awakening, was finding strength in my body first. So just like if you're depressed and you physically smile, it will release chemicals in your body that help you feel happy. When you strengthen your body, you strengthen your soul. It's another access point, right? So it's to me, it's very important for us to strengthen our bodies physically, both through exercise, nutrition, all of it. So um, another example would be fasting. And for you bingers out there, I want you to keep listening to this. So fasting, you're gonna go without for a while. You go without for, let's say you do a 24 hour fast. 
the tendency for people is they want to balance that out somewhere. They either want to eat a whole bunch of food before they fast, or they want to eat a whole bunch of food in the few days after because they fasted and they're searching for that, that balance, that homeostasis. So my challenge to you is do a fast and don't make up for it. Don't eat a whole bunch before. Ooh, maybe even go into your fast a little bit hungry. Oh crap, can you handle it? Yes, you can. <laughs> Can't, okay, let's say you fasted the whole day. The next day you're feeling, I'm hungry. Can you handle it? Can you control that response a little bit? Just to show yourself that you don't have to be so reactive to every little cue that comes up in your life, every little person who texts you, every little thought you have, blah, 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 right? <laughs> We're like so reactive. So like control the transition, control the transition, learn how to do that, right? We don't have to control everything in our life. I'm not a control freak, but there's some lessons I wanna teach myself that like, I don't have to be so reactive all the time. Now the bingers, same thing. Let's say you binge. Your challenge is going to be not to fast afterwards or exercise it off, all right? So if you just ate an entire pumpkin pie last night, my challenge to you is to eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. And I know that goes against like basic, you know, like if you're in a healthy mindset around food, like it would be basic balance, like I'm not hungry, like I'll just eat when I get hungry again. But if you have binging issues, you have a restrictive mindset around food. And as soon as you go back into that, you're going to just repeat the cycle. So your challenge is like, yeah, sure, you can binge, but you have to eat the next meal, right? And that is that is controlling like the stress response because the stress response is, oh, I can't eat for a whole day, right? And I know y'all do this because I work with people one-on-one -on -one and it's super duper common, okay? So it's a poor eyes, you're not alone in your, your issues. <laughs> it's like everybody else, okay? So um, that's, my, that's my, what I would encourage you today to do is to, control your stress response to a difficult transition. Now, let's talk about, um, this is a, transitions is a theme for me today because it was a realization that I had in my meditation this morning. Guys, I do like an hour and a half of personal development work every morning, right? It's a lot, it's beautiful. Um, I journal, I plan, I have gratitude, I'm doing a purpose right, uh, actually I just finished purpose, I'm doing a vision, a whole month about my vision right now, meditate, it's cool. Um, and for me, what came into, into my heart today was controlling my transitions. And this is what I realized about myself, was that when I'm in a transition, I pick up my phone and I wanna, I wanna open something. I just, it's like a knee-jerk reaction, like Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Let's say I just finished journaling, boom, I just mindlessly pick up my phone and open up Instagram or something. And I realized, Today, my challenge, which challenge was going to be to not do that. And what I found already just this morning was that when I, I, I was like, oh my gosh, you're doing it again. Oh my gosh, you're doing it again. So I realized and I put it down. And what I realized was when I did that, I created space for myself to think, right? So instead of like picking up my phone and looking at something real quick, I silently finished what I was doing, silently walked over to the kitchen, silently made my um, free workout for the gym. And in that moment, I realized, holy shit, we are missing out on so much meditation and creative thinking time because we're in reactive mode, or at least I am, with my phone all the time. So controlling those transitions, right? Allowing, breathing through the transitions, not allowing some sort of stress response. So um, to recap, the transitions, I would encourage you guys to like kind of check out yourself and see how you do in controlling your stress response would be if you do an intensity interval and in running, something like this. If you go super fast sprint, do you have to jump off the sides and <gasps> after, or can you return to your regular pace? And just breathe through that sucker. That's my first challenge. Second challenge, cold shower. So at the end of your shower, either today or tomorrow, I challenge you, don't think, just do it. <laughs> Turn that sucker to ice cold. And if you live in a cold state like me, it's gonna be ice cold, it's gonna suck, okay? <laughs> you live in Florida, you, sorry, you don't get to do cold showers when you're not cold. <laughs> but um, turn that, just do it anyway, then maybe it'll be cold for you guys. Um, and just, instead of <gasps> like freaking out, see if you can just, I got this. 
I got this. And see if you can stay in it until you no longer want to run and escape. So that's my next, next challenge for you in a transition. Um, then eating transitions out of a, if you're gonna fast or if you have a binge, whenever that happens for you next, if you fast, my challenge for you is to not make up for the food either the day before or the few days after, right? And then if you binge, my challenge is you gotta eat your next meal. You don't get to starve yourself, right? Okay, and then the last one is um, phones, is phones. So see if you're like me and if you're picking up your phone all the time whenever you're transitioning from thing to thing or as a stress response because you're in the middle of a difficult task and you just don't wanna do it, right? So see if looking at your phone is a stress response for you and then challenge yourself to just be aware. Be like, oh my gosh, I'm doing it again. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it and just put it down. See what happens if you're able to provide space for you, for yourself to have some more meditation and some more creative thinking time. It's really beautiful. Like already this morning, I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yep, that needs to happen. So transitions, that's what's on my mind today. Push yourself through a difficult transition, change your habits and see what happens to your life. All right. Bye guys. Have a great day.